Welcome to the 11th International Symposium on Human Survivability. Uh, the title of uh, the symposium is Transdisciplinary Perspectives, How Can We Evaluate the Convergence of Knowledge? It's organized by the Graduate School of Advanced Integrated Studies in Human Survivability, uh, which we also call GSIS for, for short, um, Kyoto University. So my name is Dimitri Onazov, and I'm a professor at this graduate school, and I'm going to be the moderator of today's symposium. It's nice to welcome you all. And now I would like to invite uh, Professor Kaoru Sekiyama, who is the Dean of GSI Kyoto University, to give the opening remarks. Okay, oh, so dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my great pleasure to give a brief greeting uh, to start the 11th International Symposium on Human Survivability. Uh, so my name is Kaoru Sekiyama, the Dean at the Graduate School of Advanced Integrated Studies in Human Survivability, or GSAIS, GSIS in short, uh, at Kyoto University. So as you may know, Kyoto University is the second oldest university in Japan, uh, having a history of 125 years. And the Kyoto University has 13,000 undergraduate students and 10,000 graduate students. So in contrast, uh, so GSIS is the youngest graduate school in Kyoto University, uh, established in 2013. So with only about 10 years, uh, um, less than 10 years history. And we have about 60 students postal presentations today. Okay, so human survivability studies aim to bridge academic research and the practical activities to solve global issues. Since its establishment, each year the school has organized an international symposium in which all of us participate. So this year's theme is how can we evaluate the convergence of knowledge? And for this symposium, we have invited two distinguished guest speakers, uh, Professor Otwin Ren from Institute for Advanced Sustainability Studies, Germany, and Dr. Shuichi Sakamoto from the Cabinet Office of Japan. So I hope we will learn much about this topic from today's lectures and discussion. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Sikiyama. 